Hello, I'm Zach here in Japan, and I'm a full-time software engineer doing some freelancing stuff on Upwork on the side, uh, trying to get into Shopify development, and I also run my own Shopify store. And today, I'm doing some beta testing for Clip product page coupons. Now, before I go into the app and show a couple of small issues I had, I'm going to just show you what it looks like in my store. So I'll go to some items that I put the coupons on. I think I put it on here. Really, all of the cards I put it on. Yeah. So it gives this nice little coupon here on the product page, and it's there. It'll The 15% coupon, or whatever percent you set it to, will be applied when the customer checks out. So that is pretty cool. And then let's go into the back end of my Shopify store and show just uh, one tiny issue, not, not a big deal, but something that might want to be taken into consideration going forward for the Clip It guys, for the Clip It team. What happened with these buttons here? Yeah, what happened was I accidentally clicked one of these buttons and didn't realize it. I was changing some other things in here, like maybe the price or something. And then I saved it, and that was at the end of the night. I went to bed thinking I had coupons live on my store. Then when I woke up the next morning and just, uh, you know, checked my product pages, there weren't any coupons. So I was like, "What? what's happening? So, I mean, th that next morning when I went back in here, something, one of these buttons was clicked, was, was toggled on, and I didn't actually mean for it to be toggled on. And I was thinking, how did I do that? How did that end up happening? And the answer is right here. If you see, you're able to toggle this button on and off all the way to the end there so that could be a problem i mean and you see when it's toggled on it goes all the way to the end of this container here when it's off you can still click all all the way over here too so for me that's that's a little issue i mean some in some cases you might want it to do that uh, oh this this is what i clicked on show only for logged users so i i didn't want that enabled i accidentally enabled that uh, by clicking on this i guess apparently you can click on this sentence here so just my personal preference when i'm developing something if there's a toggle button like that i will only have it um, functional here right on this where the actual button is now you might want it toggling all the way over here in other situations i'll show you one where you might actually want that and that would be on facebook when you're watching when you're looking at people's stories so i go here and looking at stories and you see this button here that you click on it to go to the next story or go back um, you're actually able to click that everywhere here, but there's a reason for that. That's because Facebook wants to trick you into clicking anywhere and going to the next story because they want to grab your attention and keep you watching these stories at all cost. It's their very livelihood to make you click through all of these and continue watching all day. So in this situation, you you might want that if you want to kind of trick people or you know make people unintentionally click on the button then you want this button to be clickable all over here uh, in the case of something like this where you're only going to show the coupon for logged in users i don't think you want that happening here i don't know uh, if if you guys at clip are watching this you can you can be the judge that and now for my uh, fellow web web developers here we're going to inspect and kind of take a look at what's happening here so we can see this let's turn this on so yeah you can see here that toggle functionality is going all the way to the end of this p element i think it should only be going to the end of this div dot slider element so yeah, just some things to think about. Everything else, I've been I've been loving this Clip app. I forgot one last thing. I was really happy with customizing 
like you have all of this customization. You can pull up these color selectors for the background colors and for the text font size. You can add all of this. That is just, that's amazing because if you go back to my product pages, the crypto.com pay, uh, they didn't let me really customize this. There were like three options and it was kind of just like a set block. I couldn't choose colors or, you know, bold or italic or anything for any of these. So Clip is already doing better than a huge company like crypto.com. So that's pretty cool. Cheers to you guys. That's awesome. I love the app so far. It's really cool. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.